I haven't seen you all day. How's Andy? He's gonna be okay. Yeah? What was he on? Some weird shit. I wouldn't know. Because I heard he smoked a joint dipped in embalming fluid. Yeah, I wouldn't know. That wouldn't happen to be embalming fluid you stole from my house, right? My family could be getting a phone call from the police right now. You're gonna bring this on my doorstep here, my family. The Will you police. stop? I gave Andy five fry sticks to sell, and he fucking smoked them all. I didn't want to fuck with you, but you took me <sighs> down there and you showed me all this stuff, and I just wasn't thinking. Oh, you were thinking. You were thinking about your Claire. Yourself. Wait, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The police have a video of me and Andy robbing a fucking corner shop. And now I'm worried he's going to hand me in. Who the fuck are you? You are the only thing I have left. Please don't give up on me. No. And they will see that we are just shadows who live in cloud, never seeing the true world around us. And the students, they will learn to part those clouds, to throw their gaze beyond mortal things, to find the eternal part of themselves, and eventually see the face of God. But primarily it's a potato van. Well, my teachings are a vital part of it. Right, I'm just going to put down potato van. She's a beauty, but she needs some cash to get her up and running. That's where you come in. Just a couple of questions, Mr. Ashbrick. Cuckoo, please. Ashbrick is my slave name. Okay, Mr. Cuckoo. Do you have any experience in retail? Absolutely I do. When I was living in Sukhothai, Thailand, I was part of a group offering non-profit tours to students. Right, tours don't really count as retail. Slow down, bank lady. Wait for the clever part. The tours were discounted, but then we took the students up into the mountains, got them high and sold them pop for the rest of their stay. I oh, know. Check out Donald Trump.